Well, more information is emerging about the Asiana Airlines plane that crashed this week in San Francisco, killing two people and injuring 180. Investigators say the aircraft was approaching too sharply and too slowly to land safely. But they've not yet explained why or how that happened. Arise News' Natalie Whelan has the latest. Pilot error or mechanical malfunction? Flight investigators saying it could be a combination of the two. As the remains of Asiana Flight 214 lie at San Francisco Airport, more details about how the airplane crashed have been revealed. Analysts are saying the plane was flying too slowly when it hit a seawall before crash landing on the runway. The pilots have told investigators that they were relying on automated equipment to control their speed during the plane's descent. But once they realised the system wasn't working, it was too late. Let me be very clear. The crew is required to maintain a safe aircraft. That means that they need to monitor. We have a flying pilot and we have two other pilots that are in the cockpit and they have a monitoring function. One of the very critical things that needs to be monitored on an approach to landing is speed. And so we need to understand what was going on in the cockpit and also what was going on with the aircraft. There were four pilots on board the aircraft, three in the cockpit and one in the cabin. The pilot at the controls was still training and the instructor pilot was flying in that capacity for the first time. The South Korean Airlines pilots were not tested for drugs or alcohol following the crash because they do not fall under US regulations. More than 180 passengers were injured in the crash that killed two people. At least 30 surviving passengers remain in San Francisco hospitals, many with serious spinal injuries. The NTSB say the investigation could take up to two months, with many critics calling into question whether flight regulations should be standardised globally. Natalie Whelan, Arise News.